If you're watching this video, it's either because A, you clicked on it because you were curious and you wanted to see what it's going to be about, or B, you are a student thinking about studying communications, journalism, maybe becoming a news reporter, or C, you could be a graduate and you are trying to get your foot in the door into a news station or something along that store with communications and you clicked on this video to learn more about what an MMJ is. Well, whatever the case may be, you came to the right place and I will share with you my knowledge. <laughs> so welcome back to Brunette Confessions. Today I am going to enlighten you guys and share a lot of some good stuff um, regarding this career, being a journalist, being a news reporter. Um, and like the title says, I am going to share with you some things that I wish I knew before I got into the field. So we're going to touch base on some of the myths of you guys have heard about news reporters and like the reality of it. But I'm also going to get into details about what exactly an MMJ is, which stands for Multimedia Journalist. So yeah, let's get started. So if you're watching this video and you are studying communications, then I really hope you know what an MMJ is because if not, it's time to consider what school you're in. Um, so MMJ is a multimedia journalist, which means you do everything. You shoot your video, plan for stories, you write, you edit, you front it in front of the camera's talent, everything. You, you don't have a photographer. You're on your own doing everything that needs to be done to get that story on air, right? So that is what I am, okay? Yeah. Now, I don't want to be that forever. I plan to, you know, go on to like bigger markets and have an actual photographer with me. Life will be kind of easier that way and we're gonna get into more details about that. But first, I want to touch base on um, some of the things I wish I knew before I came became a reporter. And I'm not gonna lie, I knew some of this stuff already, but I feel like, well, I knew this stuff already because I did work behind the scenes for three years before I was able to get my shot in front of the camera. So I had been working for a while at a news station. So I already saw firsthand kind of like what it was like to be a reporter. So some of this myths and stuff, like I, I, I learned about it like fairly quickly right after college, but it's stuff that I didn't learn in school. Um, so yeah, so that's that now. Okay, so one of the things that I actually learned about it, um, this part I did learn in college. Um, they told me like it was not gonna be easy to get your first shot in front of the camera, to be talent, to be a reporter, and they're right. It, it is fairly hard. You have to be well, well prepared right after college with a reel, which is a, um, I'd say like a five to seven minute long video of you talking and reporting in front of the camera, like little work samples. So if you get that done in college and they look pretty good and they look official, then your shot is a little bit higher of getting a job on TV right after college than for those who don't do that. Also, if you do internships while you are in college at new stations, you have the opportunity to work on videos and practice for your reel. So you have that benefit as well um, compared to other people. So I, I don't know, for some reason, I just took long to get my reel ready and there's that. Um, but yeah, so professors always told you is like, always think of um, the possibility of not becoming a reporter and just doing something else behind the scenes, becoming a producer, director, learn how to do other stuff. Don't always just rely on being the idea of becoming a news reporter. So that's kind of how I got first my foot in the door at a news station, um, I went in with a different um, position in mind. I was an assignment editor for the uh, for the two position for the two stations that I worked at. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how I got my front of the door, and I learned about everything in a news station. I learned about how reporters, um, you know, are how their days are, how um, they report, how what they have, what the day, what the normal job of a reporter consists of, for lack of a better word. Um, so there I learned, in that position, I learned a lot. 
Now, going back to the idea about how hard it is to get into the field, it is very hard and that is not a myth, that is, that's a fact. It is hard, you gotta, you gotta really, really want it, you gotta be positive and just pray to the universe that you're gonna get your chance and if you believe you're good and if you believe in yourself, it's possible, it will happen. You just can't give up, you have to be very persistent, okay? Now, another thing that I wish I knew was that this job is not glamorous at all. You think you're gonna have a makeup artist, you're gonna have a stylist. No, you're not. Especially starting off as an MMJ, you're not, ha you're not gonna have any of that. Um, yeah, no. So don't even think about that. Um, your outfit and your makeup is gonna be the least of your worries during the day. Your priority is getting your stories right. Once you make it to bigger markets, then you have to look a little bit more presentable and you're gonna have more time. The workload is less, so you're gonna have more time to focus on your makeup and your outfit and all of that. But yeah, this job is not very glamorous at all. Now, another thing that I wish I knew before was that if I look down it's because I have my, like a list on my phone so I'm gonna be looking at it to guide me because if not we're gonna rant on and be here all day. Um, this is a very very dangerous job like your life is in the universe's hands. Um, there's gonna be times you have to go into dangerous locations of course if you don't feel comfortable you just let your station know whatever. Um, and this is for MMG when you're out alone in the field. I mean, it's, it's dangerous as well when you have a photographer, but you kind of have company, so you're a little bit less scared. But yeah, it's a dangerous job. Um, you never know like who's already have to be like aware and vigilant of your surroundings. You're gonna have people like tell you things, um, even if it's just like nice things, but they'll be like, hey, they're gonna beep at you while you're out there doing your thing. like. It's dangerous, like you just don't know. It's just dangerous. They have to be on high alert all the time. Um, and yeah, it's a dangerous job. Okay. Number four on my list is no days off. Yes, no days off. Honestly, this really depends on one company and like the um, vacation days, like the regulations and stuff. If it's PTO, if you get just two weeks of vacation like straight up it really depends on the company but it's going to be very limited time off that you're going to be able to have um you do work holidays especially if you're new at a station you're going to be working holidays most likely and you know sometimes you might be off and you get called in or it's you're already clocked out but there's something going on in your neighborhood so you have to go check it out really quick they need you there asap so yeah, you're going to be working a lot. Your life is going to revolve around your work. It is going to be stressful, emotionally, physically, and mentally draining. And you have to prepare for that and understand that. And you really have to love your job to be able to continue in that career path. Number five, if you think you are going to be living lavishly because you follow AZD in Instagram and her life is like incredible and she's always traveling, well, AZD, she works for like top five market. Like she works on like one of the top stations in a big city. So of course she's going to be making good money. But if not, you got to come into realization that you are most likely going to be poor. <laughs> okay, not like fairly poor, but you know, you're, you're just not going to be as rich. Not everybody makes it to be as rich in this industry to have so much money and live lavishly. Not everybody makes it. Unfortunately, that's the reality of it. You know, not everybody makes it. Most of us are going to be you know, kind of like uh, in the middle, you know, fairly good like a middle class you know kind of that along that sort um but yeah especially starting off you're gonna be poor starting off if you start off with life of course in the small market in the small city like how i am yeah you're gonna be poor <laughs> you're not gonna be rich right off the bat like you're just not all right next especially if you don't have the experience because what the idea behind salaries in this industry especially as talent is 
you got to put the price of your worth, right? So if you don't have experience, that price can go that high because you don't have experience. And the more experience you have, the more you have to show of what you have to offer to the table. So you could put a price for your work, which is better and easier. Um, but starting off, you're gonna be poor. All right, what else? Another thing I wish I knew, well, I kind of already knew, but it's a good reminder for those out there is that you, as a news reporter, you are the face of the station. Even on the weekends, like you're kind of representing the station. When you're out and about, you can't go buck wild because you are representing that station. Let's say you go buck wild, someone recognizes you, they take a picture of you and they send it to the station and that doesn't look good. And if that buck wildness in that picture really looks crazy, you, you could get fired. So your reputation as talent, like it really, really matters. Um, so always keep like a clean Instagram, just keep your social media presence clean. Be careful what you say, um, be careful what you do. And just know that there are eyes out there, especially if you're a public figure on TV, people are bound to recognize you. And obviously they recognize you more in like a bigger market, which is like a bigger city. Um, but yeah, that's something really good that you should just keep that in mind that once you are under contract, talent for a station, like you kind of, you belong to them, you represent them. So yeah, it's the weekend and you're out having fun, but I forgot what my train of thought was going there, but whatever, it's all good. So if you kind of want to go a little book wild, either go out undercover or <laughs> leave to like another location where it's not like your viewing area and do what you gotta do. Okay, so I think that's pretty much um, all the little important reminders of things I wish I knew before. I might have missed a few, like I just did this list like fairly quick, um, but I think that's a good amount for now. I do wanna give some advice um, as well. First advice, if you're out there searching for a job, do your research of every station, like the area, because there's nothing worse than moving somewhere and you don't like the area, you don't like the people, and you're gonna feel like super alone. It's not fun. So do the research of the area. Um, make sure you like the area co-workers meet your co-workers it's nice you know if they, you like their vibes and they're nice people you know they're going to be there if you ever need help or something so that's always a plus and management for the station itself it's always good to get along with your news directors with assistant news director and feel like you have a good relationship with them whenever you have a problem feel like you'll be comfortable coming to them for help or vice versa um, it's always good to be open with them so they can give you feedback as well and take that feedback always into consideration and learn from your mistakes and that feedback because at the end of the day you want to get better and become the best journalist you can be so you know it's always good to get that those critiques criticism feedback you know where I'm going with you know where I'm going with this okay it's just always nice to hear back from management um, and never take anything the wrong way. Just just learn, especially if you're in a small market. The bottom of the tadpole, like I am. I feel like this video is all over the place and I don't mean to, it's just, it's been a while since I've done one of these and it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, what else? Something very important. And this, I actually struggled with this a lot. Don't compare yourself to others, especially if you're putting together your reel and you're watching other reels online and you're like, oh my God, this girl, she's doing it so good. Oh my God, how is she like, um, she got so creative with her video. Like one moment she's inside the car, the next she is moving and she is doing this and she's holding this sign. Let me tell you, not every news director likes some wild 
creative active stuff on the camera sometimes they look a little bit wacky and not very professional like the pe person looks like a clown so don't don't try to you know don't try to copy those crazy things you see because not every news director likes it okay do something that shows your personality that shows who you are don't pretend to be somebody else because at the end of the day there's replicas of that person everywhere like you are you have to do something that makes you unique for you to stand out if that person sent her her reel or whatever to the same station as you and then you copied um something she was doing on camera something similar as well like the news director has two same people to pick from like what are the chances that you're gonna be the one to get picked you know like do be different don't compare yourself to others don't think you are um your stuff is not great because her stuff is way better just don't compare yourself to others just focus on you do the best you can and just have faith that someone out there will believe in you as an mmj this tip actually my news director gave it to me because i was struggling a lot like in the beginning and stuff whatever she told me work smarter not harder so what i mean by this is that a few things actually but first um try to plan your stories ahead try to plan your week ahead i know there's gonna be breaking news or let's say you have a story planned for tuesday but something else comes up and it's like way better you can hold that other story for another day in the week but at least you are already prepared for stories and stories idea to bring to the table um so be prepared plan ahead is always a good thing and that was mostly what i was struggling with in the beginning but now i got it down pat um <laughs> But another thing I want to go into is that the station gives us like huge big camera. Well, they're not huge, but you know, the, the typical big cameras that journalists use or whatever. I was struggling so much with that camera because like I'm really, really, really picky when it comes to video quality and the colors. And you know, those old school cameras, you got to fix the brightness, saturation, contrast, this and that. And it was just like not working for me. I did not like the quality of my work. I didn't like how I was looking in front of the camera. So I was like, no, I am not going to use this anymore. And it's heavy and I don't want to be carrying around heavy stuff and taking forever to set up in front of an interviewer, interviewee. It was just not happening to me. So I luckily had my own gear because obviously I shoot for YouTube. So I just started using my own equipment and I've been using my own equipment since like basically a few months after I started and I'm about to make a year here and it's thank goodness for that like it, I don't know how I would have done it if I was still using my old stuff um, from the station and honestly like I don't I'm not gonna say like drop all your stuff and go do this but if you feel like you are struggling and you just want to um, make your life kind of easier in a way then use your own equipment if the station is all right with it my station was okay with it and they understood and i still get my things done when i need to be do doing and turning it on time so like it works out so that's that um work smarter not harder and always always have a positive mindset when your day is going down the drain your stories fall out and you just don't know what the heck is going to happen or what you're going to cover just have a positive mindset like be like i trust the universe like say a little like mantra to yourself um like it's gonna be fine it's all gonna work out take deep breaths positive thinking and chances are it's all going to be okay and it's all going to work out um so yeah positivity big big thing um and what else also i want to show you guys this book so i bought this book when i kind of first started um but i never really read it but then i started reading recently and i wish i would have read it before because i learned some things with the book the hard way when i could have just like plopped this up read it and i would have learned faster but whatever so far um from what i've read it is it's very helpful like everything that the book um goes through all the tips like i really recommend it it's an everyday literally what as a, what you live as an mmj this is the book i got it on amazon um yeah so far it's been really 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 good i don't want to say 
it's been super helpful because like i said i really learned some stuff here on the hard way but if you're starting out like i really recommend this it's it's gonna you're gonna learn a lot of little tricks here and there that's gonna be very useful it is very pricey i'm not gonna lie it was 30 bucks but once i finish reading it i'll let you know if the 30 bucks were worth it um but yeah so that's that and the last thing i just want to say to you guys if you are one of those students or graduates what recent graduates who do want to become a journalist or reporter on tv or whatever um i feel like you have to ask yourself why why do you want to become a journalist is it for the glitz and the glam for the money where there's no money why do you want to become a journalist that's the million dollar question for this career path and this industry the why i feel like they asked me this in college and i really wasn't able to like understand not understand but i really wasn't able to like answer it but now i could answer it perfectly fine um so you gotta ask yourself why 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 do you want to do this well if you ask me that question i have the answer now the answer is because i don't like math and i didn't know what else to study no besides that um i love um shooting video ever since i was a little girl at family parties i had my little those little old cameras it was like blue literally repping blue right now um i would just take videos with that little camera then i'll put it into my laptop i'll make little movies a little family homemade videos i would edit them i always loved that i always loved to read i loved to write i used to want to be like an author and write like a novel or something literally I used to start like when I had like a weird dream or something like I would start writing my dream and like a story out of it when I was younger um, and I love to be in front of the camera obviously um, I don't know why I've just always liked to be in front of the camera and and I absolutely love true crime I love CSI shows I love crime shows documentaries like especially like long format documentaries and stuff. I love all of that. And I feel like this is a career that just brings everything I love together. Plus fashion and makeup. Although I sometimes have to leave that outside of the mix right now, but I know in the future, I will be able to add more of that into the mix. But yeah, it's just a perfect career that just brings everything I love together. And I wouldn't, I can't imagine doing anything else so you gotta ask yourself why why do you want to study this or why did you study this and hopefully you have a good answer that will show that you're really truly in it and you are going to be dedicated and just going to try your best to make it and follow your dreams so yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or any ideas about this topic, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you guys any way I can. And yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.